Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is June 16, found on page 175. The title of today's devotion is Heaven Itself Imperiled. In Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12, we read, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. The value of a soul, who can estimate? Would you know its worth? Go to Gethsemane and there watch with Christ through those hours of anguish when he sweat as it were great drops of blood. Look upon the Savior uplifted on the cross. Hear that despairing cry, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Mark 15, 34. Look upon the wounded head, the pierced side, the marred feet. Remember that Christ risked all. For our redemption, heaven itself was imperiled. At the foot of the cross, remembering that for one sinner, Christ would have laid down his life, you may estimate the value of a soul. If you are in communion with Christ, you will place his estimate upon every human being. You will feel for others the same deep love that Christ has felt for you. Then you will be able to win, not drive, to attract, not repulse, those for whom he died. The greater their sin and the deeper their misery, the more earnest and tender will be your efforts for their recovery. You will discern the need of those who are suffering, who have been sinning against God, and who are oppressed with a burden of guilt. Your heart will go out in sympathy for them, and you will reach out to them a helping hand. Christ and Him crucified should become the theme of our thoughts and stir the deepest emotions of our souls. It is through the cross alone that we can estimate the worth of the human soul. Such is the value of men for whom Christ died, that the Father is satisfied with the infinite price which He pays for the salvation of man in yielding up His own Son to die for their redemption. What wisdom, mercy, and love in its fullness are here manifested. The worth of man is known only by going to Calvary. In the mystery of the cross of Christ, we can place an estimate upon man. How glorious are the possibilities set before the fallen race. Through his Son, God has revealed the excellency to which man is capable of attaining. Through the merits of Christ, man is lifted from his depraved state, purified, and made more precious than the golden wedge of Ophir. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about the Father's immeasurable sacrifice. And may God bless you abundantly, above all you can ask or think.